so just a quick video today um, because I've really been thinking about when we decide that we want to make changes or that what really happens is you we get fed up with our lives and we decide you know in one fleeting moment that everything needs to change you know we need to lose 50 pounds we need to get a new job um, we need to, to work out, um, we need to drink our gallon of water per day, you know, whatever it is. And there's always a list. There's always a list, right? Everybody's got a list of things that they would like to be better or different um, about their lives. Um, the problem is, is that when you hit that fed up spot, you make these, or make an attempt to make these large and sweeping changes. It's like starting Monday morning, I'm going to... Uh, you know, run five miles before breakfast, and I'm going to um, I'm going to lose 50 pounds by the end of the week. And I understand that your your list is probably not as uh, I would say irrational as trying to uh, lose 50 pounds in a week. But basically, what ends up happening is you play or attempt to play 52 card pickup with your life. Um, and if you've ever played 52 card pickup, you basically take a pack of cards and then toss them into the wind for the, for the most part. Um, and then the game is to pick them all back up. Um, and the thing is, is that, you know, you, as humans, we thrive on homeostasis, um, which is balance, right? It's, well... Not necessarily balance, but samey sameness. Um, it's you know we can only handle certain ranges, um, and anything outside that range could possibly kill us. Um, you know you may be familiar with, uh, for instance, like blood pH. Um, your blood has to be within a certain pH range, otherwise you will die. Um, you know, blood glucose, if it gets too high, you can die. If it gets too low, you can die. Um, and so, you know, staying within, you know, norms or safe ranges is, basically, it's the way we survive. And the same thing works with your, um, with your behaviors, with your emotional well-being. Um, it's, you know, you may... You may find yourself going, okay, why am I never really, really happy? Well, it might be because being really, really, really happy is outside the safe range. Um, and being really, really, really happy might kill you, right? According to your uh, your subconscious, right? Your, your reptile, your monkey brain, whatever uh, you want to call it. And so in thinking about making, you know, all of these very large and sweeping changes. I want to really encourage you not to do that. Um, pick one thing that you think that you can accomplish and or one thing that's the most important to you and then break it down into small bite-sized chunks so that it is achievable. Um, you know, you, I understand you might want to lose, you know, 20 pounds, but you're not going to lose 20 pounds, you know, in two weeks. You might lose two pounds in two weeks. So when you break it down into bite-sized chunks, you make it easier to accomplish. You and you create a foundation of success on which you can build more successes. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, I really, like I said, I've I've been working with some people lately, and we are you know dialing down and and getting really specific about what it is that we want to accomplish. Um, most people, when they, you know, start off on goal setting, they're, they're really just too broad. Um, and so, you know, break it down, make it small, make it manageable. Um, because as soon as it becomes overwhelming, as soon as you get stressed about it, oh, there's a spider. Um, as soon as it becomes stressful or difficult, Right, you're going to fall back to the old ways and old habits. Um, might not have been such a great idea to do this outside. I'm getting attacked by the bugs. Um, 
so yeah, uh, when you decide you make your uh, when you decide to make your goals, your um, make sure that they're as small as they need to be, um, so that they're easy to achieve. Um, Especially if you are or have been in the habit of creating very large, um, very broad, very um, effort-driven goals. Um, if, you're, if your goals require a lot of effort on your part, that is even more reason to break it down and make it as small as you possibly can. Because um, the more effort that you have to put towards it, um, the harder it is for you to accomplish. So when you break it down into its smallest pieces, and even smaller than that if you can, then you enable, you know, you make it so that there's less effort required. And um, that's gonna help you accomplish it. All right, I'm gonna get out of here because I've got spiders all over me and, and ants. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.